So let's start. Number 10, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Imagine something so big that if you traveled at the speed of light, it would still take you 10 billion years to cross. That's the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a cosmic structure so massive it shouldn't even exist. It's the largest known structure in the entire observable universe discovered in 2013. Scientists noticed it while studying gamma ray bursts, those violent flashes that mark the death of massive stars. The bursts were oddly grouped together in one region of space, revealing a cluster of galaxies so huge that it broke the known laws of cosmology. To put it simply, this Great Wall is a wall of galaxies stretching 10 billion light years across. It's made up of billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars, and each of those likely has planets, moons, and maybe even life. But here's the weird part, according to what we know about the universe's formation, nothing this large should exist. The cosmic web, the structure of matter in the universe, shouldn't allow something this connected. Yet, here it is, floating out there like a scar across space. If you could see it with your eyes, it would make every galaxy we know look microscopic. The Milky Way? That's a grain of dust. The Great Wall? a literal mountain range stretching across eternity. Even scientists can't fully explain how it formed. Some think it's the result of ancient gravitational forces pulling galaxies together before the universe fully expanded. Others believe it's an illusion, a trick caused by the way light travels through space. Either way, it's real, and it's out there. A cosmic monument so large it makes the word big meaningless. Number nine. Ton 618, the monster black hole. If there's one thing scarier than the vastness of space, it's the monsters hiding inside it. Ton 618 is one of them, a supermassive black hole so enormous it makes every black hole we've ever seen look like a pebble. This thing is about 66 billion times more massive than the sun. Just stop for a second and imagine that. One object with a gravitational pull so strong it could swallow entire solar systems without even noticing. The event horizon, the boundary around it where not even light escapes, stretches nearly 400 billion kilometers wide. That's wider than the orbit of Neptune. If the Milky Way fell toward Ton 618, it would disappear like dust into a hurricane. Scientists first discovered Ton 618 because of its blinding quasar, the light created by matter heating up before it gets devoured. That light traveled 10.4 billion years to reach us, meaning this monster existed when the universe was still young and it's still feeding. Somewhere in the darkness, it's swallowing gas, stars, and maybe even entire galaxies growing heavier every second. Some astrophysicists call it the cosmic apex predator. It doesn't hunt, it doesn't move fast, it just sits there in the void, quietly pulling everything toward oblivion. And here's the strangest part. We don't actually know how something that big even forms. The biggest known stars can only create black holes a few dozen times the sun's mass. 618 must have started with something no one has ever seen, a collapse beyond our current understanding. So next time you look at the night sky, remember, somewhere out there, this invisible colossus is still waiting patient and eternal, ready to consume anything that dares come close. Number eight. The huge LQG. In 2012, astronomers stumbled upon something so enormous that they had to double check the data multiple times. They had found the Huge Large Quasar Group, or Huge LQG, a chain of 73 quasars stretching across 4 billion light years. To put that into perspective, the Milky Way is about 100,000 light years wide. This thing is 40,000 times longer. Quasars are like cosmic lighthouses, the blazing centers of galaxies powered by supermassive black holes. The huge LQG is a collection of these, linked by invisible threads of gravity. Together, they form one of the biggest known structures in the universe. But it's not just its size that's unsettling, it's what its existence implies. According to Einstein's cosmological principle, the universe should look roughly the same everywhere on a large scale. But this structure breaks that rule completely. It's simply too big to fit the model. Some scientists even suggested renaming it the Cosmic Leviathan. Others argued that it shouldn't exist at all, that we must be misunderstanding how the universe clusters together. If you could stand outside the universe and look down at it, 
the huge LQG would look like a glowing cosmic bridge connecting billions of galaxies like a web of fire stretching through infinity. It's one of those discoveries that remind scientists how little we truly know. Every time we think we've mapped the limits of the cosmos, something like the huge LQG shows up and laughs at our math. Number 7. The Phoenix Cluster, the Cosmic Furnace. The Phoenix Cluster sounds like the name of a superhero team, but it's actually one of the most powerful and massive galaxy clusters in the known universe. Located about 5.7 billion light years away, it's a monstrous collection of over a thousand galaxies, all swimming in a sea of superheated gas. This cluster is so big that its total mass equals 1,000 trillion suns. That's right one quadrillion times heavier than our sun. It's surrounded by a cloud of gas that's heated to hundreds of millions of degrees glowing brightly in x-rays. But what makes the Phoenix Cluster special isn't just its size, it's what's happening inside it. At the center of the cluster lies a supermassive black hole that's devouring material faster than almost any other one known. As it feeds, it shoots out powerful jets of energy that heat up the surrounding gas, creating a massive halo of light and fire. The name Phoenix comes from what it's doing. It's constantly cooling, collapsing, and being reborn. Some of the gas in this cluster is cooling down fast enough to create new stars at a rate of 500 suns per year. That's hundreds of times faster than what happens in our entire galaxy. In short, the Phoenix Cluster is a cosmic furnace, a region where galaxies are born, destroyed, and reborn again. It's an endless cycle of death and creation on a scale so large it's almost impossible to imagine. If you could somehow stand near it and survive, you'd be staring at one of the most energetic and violent scenes in the universe, a storm of light, heat, and gravity that's been raging for billions of years. Number 6, IC1101, the King of Galaxies. If the Milky Way were a cozy little town, IC1101 would be an endless megacity stretching across the stars. Located roughly a billion light years away, IC1101 is the largest galaxy scientists have ever found, a true monster of the cosmos. It spans about 6 million light years from one end to the other. That means if our galaxy sat inside it, you could line up 60 Milky Ways side by side and still have room left over. This galaxy contains 100 trillion stars, plus countless planets, moons, and probably more black holes than we can count. Imagine the night sky from within IC1101, you'd never see darkness. The heavens would be packed with the glow of countless suns. Astronomers think IC1101 grew so big by swallowing smaller galaxies over billions of years. Like a cosmic predator, it kept merging and expanding until it became an empire of stars. Its massive core burns brightly with ancient starlight, a place where time feels slower, older, heavier. But here's the haunting part. IC1101 might be dying. Most of its stars are ancient and fading, and there's little new star formation happening. It's like a once thriving city whose lights are starting to dim. One day, it may drift quietly into cosmic silence. Even so, IC1101 remains a reminder of how far matter can go when gravity has billions of years to work. A structure so massive that it defies imagination, the true heavyweight champion of galaxies. Number 5, the Shapley Supercluster the Cosmic Empire. If galaxies were cities and clusters were countries, the Shapley Supercluster would be an entire continent. It's one of the largest known concentrations of galaxies in the universe, a titanic web stretching 650 million light years across and containing over 8,000 galaxies. It lies about 650 million light years away in the constellation Centaurus, and it's so massive that its gravitational pull actually affects the motion of our own galaxy. Yes, even from that far away, it's tugging on the Milky Way. Inside the Shapley supercluster, are dozens of smaller galaxy clusters, each one a swarm of hundreds of galaxies orbiting a central gravitational core. Together they form a grand cosmic structure that looks like a river of light flowing through the dark. When scientists mapped it, they were stunned by how dense it was. It's not evenly spread like most regions of the universe. It's concentrated, bright, and heavy. 
Some researchers believe the Shapley supercluster might be the most massive single structure we've ever found. It's part of something even bigger, the Laniakea supercluster, which also includes our own Virgo supercluster. In other words, even our home galaxy belongs to the same larger system as this cosmic empire. The Shapley supercluster reminds us that, in the grand structure of the universe, everything is connected, even across hundreds of millions of light years. Number 4. Alcyonius, the largest radio galaxy ever found. In the quiet corners of the universe far from anything we can see with the naked eye lies a sleeping giant named Alcyonius. It's not famous like Andromeda or as bright as the Milky Way, but it's a true cosmic beast, the largest galaxy ever found when measured by its radio emissions. This thing stretches a mind-bending 16.3 million light years across. That's more than 160 times the size of our galaxy. If you placed Alcyonius where the Milky Way is, its arms would reach beyond every star you've ever seen, out into the invisible darkness between galaxies. At its heart is a supermassive black hole. The engine that drives its size, this black hole spews out jets of energy moving at nearly the speed of light, beams so powerful they stretch for millions of light years. These jets create gigantic lobes of radio energy that scientists can detect from billions of light years away. Those radio lobes are like ghostly wings, invisible to human eyes, but glowing bright in the vast radio spectrum, floating clouds of plasma that have drifted across space for hundreds of millions of years. The strange thing is, Alcyonius shouldn't be this big. It doesn't have an unusually active core, nor does it sit in a dense part of the universe filled with fuel. It's as if the laws of physics just decided to let this one galaxy grow unchecked. Scientists believe it quietly evolved this way over billions of years, slowly feeding, expanding, and carving its place as one of the universe's greatest structures. And yet, for all its size, Alcyonius is nearly invisible to the human eye. You could stare at that patch of sky your entire life and never know it was there. A silent titan, stretching across eternity, whispering in wavelengths only machines can hear. Number 3. The Giant GRB Ring, A Cosmic Halo of Fire The giant GRB ring is one of those discoveries that makes scientists question everything they thought they knew about reality. In 2015, astronomers noticed that nine gamma-ray bursts, the brightest, most violent explosions in the universe, were strangely arranged in a massive ring. Each GRB was billions of light years away, but together they formed a near-perfect circle 5.6 billion light years across. For context, that's 56,000 times wider than the Milky Way. Gamma ray bursts are produced when gigantic stars collapse or when neutron stars collide. They're supposed to appear randomly across the universe. But this? This looked deliberate, like a cosmic signature burned into the night sky. If the giant GRB ring is a real structure, it's one of the biggest ever found. Scientists aren't even sure what it is. Some think it's a remnant from the early universe, a ripple in space-time, left over from the Big Bang. Others suggest it might be a supermassive galactic loop, something so enormous that we're only seeing a small piece of it. Either way, it breaks the rules of how we think matter should be distributed. According to the standard model of cosmology, structures this large shouldn't exist, yet they do and they laugh in the face of our equations. It's humbling to imagine something so big that we can only see its outline through the light of dying stars, a ring of fire drawn across the void, mysterious, ancient, and completely beyond human comprehension. Number two, Laniakea Supercluster, our cosmic neighborhood. When you think of your neighborhood, you probably imagine streets, parks, and houses. Now, Imagine a neighborhood that spans 520 million light years and contains 100,000 galaxies. That's the Laniakea supercluster, the true home of our Milky Way. Discovered in 2014, Laniakea isn't just a group of galaxies, it's a cosmic river of matter flowing toward a mysterious region called the Great Attractor. Galaxies within Laniakea are all moving in a coordinated fashion, pulled together 
by gravity over billions of years. This flow defines the supercluster's boundaries, showing that even on the grandest scales, the universe has structure, patterns, and a sort of choreography we're only beginning to understand. Inside Laniakea, the Milky Way is just one tiny speck drifting along with the local group, our cluster of neighboring galaxies, but don't let that fool you. The collective mass here is enormous. Every galaxy contributes to a gravitational web so vast that light itself bends slightly as it passes through. Laniakea is poetic in a terrifying way. It reminds us that the universe is alive with motion, pulling, and interaction. Galaxies collide, stars are born and die, and matter flows like a cosmic tide, all while we float unnoticed on a small blue planet. Standing in its shadow, you realize how utterly fragile and fleeting we are. Yet somehow, we have the audacity to look up and wonder. Number one, the observable universe, the edge of everything. And then there's the biggest thing of all, the observable universe, everything humanity has ever seen, measured or dreamed about fits inside this one vast bubble. It stretches 93 billion light years across, and yet it's only a fraction of the whole. Beyond it lies a darkness we can't see, not because it doesn't exist, but because light from there hasn't reached us yet. Inside this cosmic sphere are around 2 trillion galaxies, each containing hundreds of billions of stars. That means there are more planets than there are grains of sand on every beach on Earth, each one orbiting in silence, each one part of the same infinite story. The light from the farthest galaxies started its journey 13.8 billion years ago, near the beginning of time itself. Every time we look deeper into space, we're actually looking further into the past, seeing baby galaxies forming, exploding, and drifting into maturity long before Earth was even dust. What's truly mind-blowing is that this isn't even the full universe, it's just the part we can see, the slice illuminated by light that's managed to reach us so far. The rest? Infinite. Expanding. Unknown. The observable universe is everything we are and everything we can imagine. It's a map of creation, stitched together from photons that have traveled billions of years just so someone could look up at the sky and whisper, wow. It's both humbling and beautiful to realize that in a cosmic ocean, this vast you, a small breathing spark of life, are made from the same atoms that once burned inside the stars scattered across that endless horizon. Thank you for watching and sticking till the end. We've got plenty more videos coming in the future. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. See you in the next one.